essential ingredient from which all life is made, releasing oxygen into the atmosphere. This began to work as a heat control, so avoiding the extremes of temperatures found on Mercury and Venus. The Earth's surface now teems with life. Life has shaped the planet. It has made our atmosphere and covered our land masses with forests and cities. Life has done more than colonize Earth. It has become part of its very structure. Humans had no way of seeing the beauty of planet Earth until we saw it from space, one of the most compelling sights in the universe. It has even moved astronauts to tears. But not until 1961, when the Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin orbited the Earth, did fantasy begin to become reality. So far, the Moon is the only extraterrestrial site in which humans have set foot. In 1969, Apollo 11 took Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on their half a million mile round trip. There have been six moon landings, during which astronauts collected rock samples, took photographs, played golf, and easily showed that moon gravity is one-sixth that of Earth's. Because the moon has no atmosphere, there is no wind and no rain. So the footprints which those astronauts left behind may remain undisturbed for thousands of years. The moon completes one orbit of the Earth in just over 27 days, the same time it takes to rotate on its own axis. So we never see the dark side of the moon. Perhaps that's why it's always been shrouded in mystery. It's a potent symbol of romance. It is said that if two lovers plight their trope beneath the full moon, they will stay together forever. The full moon also brings werewolves and witches out of their lairs. From time to time, the earth and moon line up so that sunlight casts a shadow of the moon across the earth, creating a solar eclipse. At a fixed point on Earth, the total eclipse of the Sun will occur only once every 360 years, and they're still greeted with great superstition. <laughs> Chinese celebrations try to scare away the dragon that, according to legend, has devoured the Sun. Celestial events are often linked to ancient monuments, like Stonehenge in southern England. Only at dawn on a midsummer's day do the stones align exactly with the rising sun. Today, there are better ways of studying the movements of the planets. The modern observatory allows astronomers to look deep into space. But even the most sophisticated optical telescopes are hampered by the Earth's atmosphere. The best solution is a telescope in space. The Hubble Telescope is just that. Launched in 1990, it provides photographs of the stars and planets, which are valuable for their detail, as well as majestically beautiful. Out beyond Earth, we come to the planet that more than any other has held hope for life other than our own, Mars. It was an Italian astronomer, Giovanni Schiaparelli, 
who more than a hundred years ago first noticed a pattern of unnaturally straight lines on the surface of Mars. He speculated that they may be great canals built by Martians. We now believe that he wasn't seeing canals at all, just to fault with his telescope. But ever since, Mars has fueled the thought that we may not be alone. By the 1930s, it was a popular myth that there were little green men living on Mars and all set to invade Earth. And a fake report of Martian landings caused mass panic when it began an American broadcast of the novel War of the Worlds. But in one sense, we are under constant invasion from Mars. In 1996, in the wastelands of Antarctica, scientists discovered a chunk of Martian meteorite. Embedded in the rock was what could be microscopic fossils of bacteria. Perhaps billions of years ago, there was life on Mars. There is almost certainly no life on Mars now. It is a cold, barren world temperature which rarely rises above freezing. Like Earth, Mars has water, as low mists in the deep valleys are locked into the ice caps at the poles. There are huge volcanoes, including the highest mountain in the solar system, Olympus Mons, two and a half times the size of Mount Everest. Violent storms engulf the entire planet for months on end. to make a soft landing on Mars was ripped to pieces by the wind in just 20 minutes. Named for the Roman god of war, Mars appears a blood red color and has always been linked with anger and conflict. People born under its influence are supposed to be fiery and hot-headed. In fact, the red coloring comes from iron oxide better known as Rust. Far from being the bloodthirsty, heroic god of war, Mars is just quietly rusting away. Although forbidden, it seems to be the only planet that carries any promise of supporting a human colony. The ambitious plan would be to remodel the planet by a process known as terraforming. The theory is that if primitive life forms were to be introduced, they could adapt the atmosphere and eventually make the planet 